Hi everyone, it's Gail and we are back with our wonderful project for Blue Fern Studios. Um, I have a few things I wanted to get done today so thought I'd turn on the camera. I'm getting gesso off of my off of my fingers because um, I just did yesterday's video. So we're gonna work on this um, and I am gonna say hi and hugs first. Hi and hugs to Randy, Pamela, Debbie, and new phase of me. Isn't that a great name? Love that. Um, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your kind comments. Um, I, as you can see, got the little chipboard piece that we had colored with markers. I got it all embossed with clear embossing and I'm really pleased with how that came out. So thank you to whoever it was that um, mentioned that on one of my other videos and said that's an easy way, <laughs> excuse me, easy way to do multiple colors on a chipboard piece. So that worked. So this then is ready to go in the book. And I did not get anything done on my hexagon piece that I wanted to do. Um, so, uh, but we're getting kind of a, a chubby little signature going in here. Um, but what I thought I'd like to do today, this piece is what I'm talking about, the black. And then with the little hexagons on it like um you know like that i didn't get anything done on that in between now and and um before so i do have this to cut out but i wanted to look and see what other scraps that i might have that would be better for that than anything else so let's get our scraps if I can I can grab them here. Okay, well there's one right off the bat that I see. This one, very similar to that, but they're the right size. Okay. And then so there's that. And then there's this one that would be fun. Uh, but that would be really good for tags. I don't think I'm going to use that one. Okay. I mean, my other thought was that I could just um, use a piece of the 8x8 paper or something and punch the whole thing up. See, all these would be such good tags and other things. Okay. Well, I have. we have figured that out. We don't have... I just have these two to use for that. So that's okay. I'm going to put this aside and I, you know, I don't know that we'll, I was thinking I would do it off camera because it's just going to be a lot of gluing and placing. But what I thought today was I want to work on some of these other kind of pages and decide what I'm going to do with them. Um, I'm, I'm debating whether I just put the, do this in half and sew around it, or do I want to make it kind of a fold out piece, which could be kind of cool. Like have it like this and then have it come out like that. I mean, we could decorate it up a little. Well, let's play with that for a little bit first things. Okay. <clears throat> let's see. I don't care if it's the width of the template. It can be smaller. That's just fine. So I kind of like, kind of like this. And just out like that. And then we'll do the whole. Um, 
this is obviously going to need some, um, what you call it, hole reinforcers. So uh, we'll have to do that on this too. Anyway, just thought I'd do some more pages. This is like, this is a long project. <laughs> It just is, because it's it's just the nature of it. Um, let me see. I thought, I thought I had one of these tins that had hole reinforcers in it. Not that one. And not this one. This is grateful. Okay, where's my hole reinforcers, people? Hmm, I don't know. So, I might end up punching some new ones. I feel like, I honestly feel like I had a tin. I have too many tins, I guess. I honestly thought I had a tin with hole reinforcers in it. Nope, 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 and nope. Not there. One more place to look here. Maybe I used them all. That could be. Yep. No, nope, not in there. Okay. Well, good to know. <laughs> well, let's see. I could. Where is my little punch? Let me grab it. it the only thing is it doesn't really like this blue fern paper because it's very thick. So I could use also these. And I think I will for this one, just not that. Where are my other? There they are. Don't have many of them, many of them done. So I'll do some. Okay. Sorry. It is what it is, guys. You know when you're crafting. It's like you have the idea for something, but you can't find it or whatever. It's, it's kind of how it goes. Okay, so I'm just going to take my vintage photo and color us up some for using in this. have whole reinforcers for days. Just pop these on here. They'll look cool anyway because it's coffee dyed. They, they blend right in. So, just had lunch and I think himself is going to go for a walk. I said, oh, I'll just go to the basement and work and toil. <laughs> yeah, right. Play and make merry more, more so than work and toil. I will say these are easier to use than the ones you punch because um, you have to, you know, it's kind of fiddly to put glue on the once you punch out of paper, but anyway, that's okay. We'll just do this. At least for this one. Okay. So, let's see. We'll set you over there and you next to it. Okay. So what I'm wondering is... Do I have anything in here that I'd like to like embellish this a little bit with? 
I probably should have looked at that before I folded it just to see what might fit nicely. But I'm kind of wondering about, where is that one? This one? Nope. There's a longer one. I don't think I've used it yet. This one. This. Oh, isn't that pretty? Perfect. Yes. I love the ephemera. It's so fun. Okay, I'm debating if I should really, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to set those over here on top of the package so that they're handy instead of taking them in and out. Okay, so let's put this on here just as a little, little pretty embellishment. Then I'm thinking on the inside of this, would I like to have some sort of a little tuck or something? Oh, that's great. I love that. It's so pretty. Oh, Jen, my friend, you do, you do such pretties. You make such pretty paper. What amazes me too is, you know, it appeals to everyone. I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't heard anyone say they don't care for Jen's designs. <laughs> Not a one. So, it's just that's kind of amazing that it appeals to everybody. Oh, isn't that fun? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then, see what I was thinking is. Can almost put something down here that could be a pocket on the side and then you know you can write on all of this you can write on that okay let's go back I'm looking back at my scraps here well if that's not the perfect size I don't know what is I gotta look on the other side though oh I love that too Ay -ay -ay. Yeah, I think I'm going to go this way. Okay, so I want to cut that right about here. And so Here. Okay, do I want to go this way or do I want to go this way? No. Do I want to go that way or do I want to go that way? For some reason that makes more sense to me, so I'm going to go that way. Get my little punch here. Okay, I think I'm going to do, since this is all kind of vintage-y, I'm going to do vintage photo. Okay, and that's going to go on there. Let's... I think that once that's in the book, it will squish down some. Oh, see, it's just such a shame to cover up some of the gorgeousness. But we're going to do it anyway. Okay. Alrighty then, that is a little side pocket. Now what I'm thinking is instead of making the um, easy choice of doing these bits and bobs cards, instead of doing those, I wanna look at 
this that I haven't that I haven't cut into yet and see if there's something there that we'd like to make into a card for there. Oh, it's so pretty. I was kind of thinking about maybe this. Oh, it's the, the back would be easy to write on, but yet it's still really pretty, decorative. So let's get the let's get the branding strip off and go from there. Which is super pretty. Okay. Um Gosh, it's hard. There's so many nice pieces here. Okay, I'm going to go just up to there. And cut right here. Oops, nope. Right here. can snip the rest with my scissors okay oh you know what I did it again I forgot to look at the time I am a mess with that since I can't I'm, I'm just all messed up since I can't see on my phone anymore I'm gonna say we started maybe at 10 till Let's say that. Okay. Okay, then we can cut off the winter days part and use that somewhere else. But that will be a fun little piece to add to the, like to the top of something. <clears throat> and then this is like a really pretty postcard. I'm deciding, do I want to cut the corners or round the corners? I think I do. I'm going to round them. Still looks like a postcard. Okay. And that, I think I might edge that in the red. Candy Apple Distress Oxide. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Tiny, tiny bit of red here. That kind of picks up. And I'm just barely edging it anyhow. Okay, so then that is going to go in there. Do I want to go that way or do I want to go this way? I kind of like that brown with that. Okay, that one is ready to go in. Let's put it in so it doesn't take up room here. I am not going to put it there because that's a flip out too. I'm going to put it in between these two. Okay. Love that. Love that. This is a uh, beautiful paper from um, Paper Baker Creations. Okay. So we did that one. Um, I think I think I, I have these two things too and I'm just deciding I mean this is part of a of a 
file folder, pocket folder type thing. So, I mean, if I were to put the holes on this side, it would be held together like a pocket. I think that might be the thing to do. Then leave it on the back for writing. Okay, let's play with that a little bit. I'm just grabbing from the pile, seeing what we have to play with here. I did off camera um, empty my hole punch. It was <laughs> screaming for help. <laughs> it was really, really full. <laughs> so, did get that done. Okay. And I don't feel the need to put hole protectors on this because this is a super thick um, piece. Okay, so what I'm thinking about is putting a big, like a big, tall, long journaling card. This is, is this, oh, phew, I was thinking it was too long. Um, I was thinking of that and then decorating this a little bit. <coughs> you know what I'm kind of thinking? What did I do with that over here? Is I was kind of thinking this might be fun along the edge. Okay. So, bear with me. I'm just going to cut down this side of the hexagons. The good news is then that's done for the hexagons too. I might have to do both sides just so I can see um, which size I like better. This side's bigger than that side. This one's more colorful though. So I don't know. I don't know which one I want. But we're just going to cut our hexagons here. We can talk amongst ourselves. I don't have a lot to share. I mean, not much news going on. We leave tomorrow morning for um, for Bozeman because Addie's got her last conference game, volleyball game. And so we're going to go over. We'll go to the house first before we go to the school and um, take, we're gonna spend the night, take the, our stuff in and see Alfie. And we have to eat before we go to the school too because I had to take my pills. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so that one's, that one's pretty, pretty thick. But I kind of like it, but let's real quick do this one too, just so I can be sure I've made the right choice. Oh, you know what would be kind of fun underneath is some lace underneath of this. I have to remember as I go back and forth on my projects because I'm doing the altered book too, I'm trying to keep everything super flat there, but I don't have to keep things super flat here because we have we have room to spare in the binder, that's for sure. Don't wanna, I mean, I wanna leave room for whoever ultimately ends up with the binder. I was asked if it's gonna be for sale and I, I don't have a definitive answer on that. I'm gonna ask Blue Fern if they have any thoughts on Creativation, if they're gonna go or not. Okay, and then there's, then there's this one. Okay, I think I like this. But let's see, what do we have? What do we have for lace? Ooh, that brown might be cool. This one? Maybe if I put that there, 
that there and this. Yep, that's what I, that's what I'm gonna do. We got her figured out. Um, yeah, so I don't know for sure if it's gonna be for sale this Christmas or if it will be something that's after creativation I put on I'm not uh, on my Etsy. I'm not sure yet so but yes I do like that okay we're gonna put this like this so right here is where we need to cut it <clears throat> just like so right maybe maybe didn't quite get it where it needs to be there we go Alrighty, let's glue these down. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about what color of glue, or what color, what kind of glue do I want? Ooh, you know what might be fun? I just had a thought. Talk amongst yourself. Had to grab a drop paper, but I'm thinking this um, shimmer stuff that um, came in the the mixed media Minnesota kit. Because the mixed media Minnesota kit, you might remember, is the Yuletide papers, and then um, Shannon at Mixed Media Minnesota, she put all sorts of fun things with it to play with and this just caught my eye and I thought ooh what if we sprayed a little gold on this ooh I have another idea no I think I'm just gonna spray it I was thinking about using a stencil but I'm not gonna do that only because there's a lot going on on there already ooh yeah Ooh, that is pretty. Yeah. Okay, I want to do the other side too. Okay. I may be getting some gold shimmer on my ink and think sweatshirt. <laughs> on these sprays, always use a wet, uh, you know, a wet one or something and wipe it off because if you don't, um, it's going to goober up on you. And we, we can't have that. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Just had to, had to get a little drop paper so I didn't get it all over my mat. Although my mat's a mess right now anyways. I think I'm okay to glue on this. Ooh, that just gives it that extra little something. Um, do I want, I think, I think maybe I'll use Fabri-Tac just to, just to make sure that it sticks well. Ooh, this is going to be so pretty. Um, what color do we want to do those edges? Maybe red, I don't know. Either red or... Possibly vintage photo. I'm not sure. We'll worry about that in a minute. Just going to go straight up that line. Straight, she says. Yeah, right. Trying to get the edges. We'll see how this works out. <laughs> decent job of doing the scallop okay so then yeah 
the red will be nice. Stop the bus. Oh, I cannot cover that up. It cannot happen. Okay, so this is the side we're going to use. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yes, yes, yes. Note to self, always look on the back with Jen's papers because you never know what might be there that you can't live without. Okay. Ooh, I like it. Like it, I like it. Okay. Oh, that's just way fun. Okay, let's think about what goes in and what we've got that could possibly got a couple of a couple of things that look like they'd fit nearly oh I love that it's a journal card but that doesn't have much space on the back to write where this one has a lot of writing space both sides okay you win all right, so let's decide. I would like it to go right to the, pretty much to the top. I think I'll cut it off right here. This is so fun because I come into these videos and I mean, I've got the papers out that I kind of want to work with, but I don't have any preconceived ideas at all <laughs> and so it's just so much fun to just go for it and see see what happens I'm gonna clip the corners of this I don't know if it's showing up on camera but that gold shimmer is just awesome Okay, now I think I'm going to use this and I'm deciding if I might like a tab on it. But this is great. You could journal in that whole area and you can journal really the whole back too. I had thought on some of these I might have to put like a piece of coffee dyed paper in certain places, but you really could write on that. Okay, so this is going to go, oh, I forgot to trim it that way. That is, well, it fits, so it's okay. Do I like that or do I want a tab? Now, if I did a tab, it's going to stick out of the book, I think. Yeah, so I think not. I think I'm going to leave that somewhat as is. I just had another thought. <laughs> 
And that is what it'd be fun to kind of have something right there. Like, I don't know what, but... Hmm, no, I mean, there's that, so... I think it needs something. So let's put you on your side. That right there <clears throat> okay and then I'll be done <laughs> oh and you know what else I didn't look for was my red stickles I know I have red stickles and that would be fun on some of this stuff oh I think I know where they are I think I do Just like so. Okay, talk amongst yourselves for a quick second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got this jar of old stickles, and I don't know how good they are, how much is in them, anything like that. So we shall see. But there's some red. So. <sighs> might, might take a trip to Hobby Lobby. Who knows? Uh-oh. Threatening me with a good time again. Let's pop a pin down there just to see. Ooh, I think we might be okay. Okay, I was thinking of putting some red stickles on these little berries. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just some fun little... Do I want to do down here a little bit too? Maybe. These are real big, so I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little bit. Can you see okay? Just give it a little extra shiny. Never a bad thing, extra shiny. Okay, so we'll set that aside to dry. But I'm happy with that. Great. Okay, now, let's see, where can I put that? I'll put that back there. Okay, so now what else do we have here? Um, that's very similar. We may wait on that. This one I was thinking of folding and um, and sewing around. What I'm thinking with it is I almost have to put like a pocket or something on it because there's no place to write. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I wonder if I could just do this. If I do that, then would, oh, 
and if I if I just glue it, this would fit in, I think, and could be journaled on the whole back. And we maybe could decorate that a little bit. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, the ideas, they do come as you get the piece in your hands, kind of. So rather than sew, which would take up more room, I'm just going to run a bead of glue. Ooh, I just had another idea for this. Okay, I'm going to run a bead of glue. First things first. And um, smoosh that down. And then what I was thinking with this, I need that to dry. Let's go ahead and punch the holes. And I can see how that's going to fit, how that um, card is going to fit. But then I had an idea. I seriously could do this all afternoon, but doing it all on camera, I have to kind of wait and do. Yes, that's going in there easily. Okay, so here was my thought. Let's look at our laces. <clears throat> yeah, I think this one, Lace 77, I'm going to put on the edge of that. That'll look kind of neat hanging out, I think. Let's put that on the edge. Like so. bigger ones. Okay. Haven't used any of this yet in here. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be nice. And then I'm not sure what else but I was thinking of putting something here where the pattern isn't showing as much or something I need to be just leaving this out laying sideways don't I or I need to fill it that's probably more like it let's see I think I'm gonna go right about there lay right there. Looks like I got a little tiny bit hanging over. Oops, I put it on the bottom. That's okay. Doesn't matter if that's on the bottom. All right, so then I was wondering if there was a piece that we'd like to have like on the bottom of that. That's cute. Oh, look at this. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, I like the house.
Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Put that on there. Oh, I think we still have some time too. I'm glad because I'm having fun. I feel like I'm kind of on a roll. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Okay, loving that. So... That is gonna go inside of there. Oh, we better put on, we'll let that dry for a minute, and we better put on some of these. Just make sure it lasts through a lot of page flipping. <laughs> So it was kind of fun yesterday. I had a doctor's appointment. That wasn't necessarily fun, but I really like my doctor. She's a woman doctor, and um, she said, so how's the YouTube thing going? <laughs> I said, it's amazing. I have so many lovely friends and such a wonderful community of people and everything, and I said, it's really, really great. And so, so she said she was going to check it out. If this is the video, then hi, Dr. Howell. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. So we don't want to go through till we get to there. We just want that to be kind of like that. Now my question is, do I want something on the front of this? And my thought is, what if we put one of these like just centered like that, kind of. Like that, I do like that. And then the back will just have all that pretty. Okay, that one's okay. Ooh. Let's put her on there. Because I think she is beautiful. Okay. So I do want to distress around the edges. white part look the back's really cool too once again we have to sacrifice a back <laughs> but you know what I think I might do is I think I might put her on as a pocket or a pocket let's see let me grab find something. I just kind of want to get a sense of put her down there. I kind of like the idea of her being centered though. Okay, another thought. is just to use like a coffee dyed like that. Yep, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So, just do the three sides. Although it's, it's killing me to cover up the back as usual. Put it in the middle ish. Okay. 
Mm, that is pretty. Now I do have I do have bigger tags somewhere. I know I have them in my cupboard. Um, oh, I know. Um, 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 um. Okay, there it is. <laughs> oh, those aren't coffee dyed though. I don't want those. Okay, where's some bigger tank? Oh, here's one. Ooh, and it's even, it's even pretty. Yes, that's what I'm going to put there. Okay. So now, where are we? Let's put this in our book. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. That came out great. Okay. We'll just see where it looks good. Looks wonderful there. And I'm going in between. I don't like it as much there. I don't like there. Okay. Here it is. So we're gonna put that in there. Her pretty little self. I kind of like how this coffee dyed paper and this kind of bounce off each other a little bit. So So we have seven pages in here so far. Okay, let's do something with the other the other thought that I had, which was to take the eight by eight paper. And what I'd like to do is make kind of a skinny pocket page. Um, I was looking at this because, you know, it's got this on this side, but a pocket, but then you can see that a little bit. So, no, I don't think so. This would be pretty. Let's use that. Okay. And then I simply thought I would score the middle. And make it make it a thin pocket. So it's an eight by eight, so we're gonna score it at four. And like so, give it a good press. And then um, give it a thumb hole. Ooh, thick paper. <laughs> I know, I said it before, I know. Okay, I'm going to use, there's a lot of brown in this. I'm going to use Vintage Photo. Pretty. I just think it's so pretty. Okay. All right. So let's just glue this. One could sew this too if they wanted. But see how pretty that is. 
Although now I now that I think of it, I could have just put one of the strips that I've cut off the other paper onto that strip. That's that's what I could have done. Now what I'm wondering is, yeah, one of these. I'd like to use these, so I think we'll put one of these in there too. Um, this one would be good. That one's really pretty. I like that the green pokes out. This is pretty too. Okay, I think it's be, I haven't, I know I haven't looked at them all, but I think it's between these two. So I want to just see. Okay, I like that. I think I like this one the best. Okay. And the only reason I'm picking it is because of the color that's poking out the side. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's why, that's how it won. Ooh, and look how pretty the back is. Pretty little picture frame. Be fun to attach a little picture there. Or you could cut it out too, either way. Okay. So that's going to go there, although it's going to stick out a little more because we have to do the holes, don't we? Yes, yes, we do. Okay, so it's about midway, so we'll... going to just take this and go around those a little bit. Ooh, I love that. I'm glad we picked that paper. Okay. And then this will go in, but only to there. I think I went around the corners of that. I'm just going to use the one quarter because there's just a small little yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so. Okay. And that one, just like that, is done. So, let's see where we'd like that. Um, I actually think, not there, not there, not there, I'm thinking about putting this here, and then if I put this in here, that would kind of show out like that. So... Now I was thinking of sewing around this, but I'm also thinking if it's like this, you can take it out right here, right here, right here, right here, and put it back in. So I think I'll just punch out, punch it out, um, and then We'll see what we think. I mean, I like the look of the sewn, but practicality wise and writing wise, I think I might rather have it so you can take it out and write on it. Right? 
oh, hole reinforcers. But let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, I really like how that looks. Okay. Okay, I think we are out of time. I'll take this out and put some hole reinforcers in it, on it. And then, I don't know, next time we're just going to play some more. I've got more pages to work with and we'll just, we'll just keep going until we feel like it's full enough. So thank you everybody so much for crafting with me today. And, um, and to those of you who are working on your own binders, thank you. Thank you for doing this project with me. It's been so much fun. I hope you're finding things that you can do the same thing with. So take care, everyone. Have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.